so it is like 10 something in the morning oh it's 10 02 and i'm currently in the town square park of my city because my sister's taking a photography class and her class was like we're gonna go practice like taking pictures in the park like you all have to bring a model well i'm my sister's model <laughs> Anyway, I'm waiting for her and her class to show up. So I'm just here early because I thought I would show you around the old part of the town I live in. So this is Town Square Park. I live in Southern Utah, which was established. Let's see. I don't remember <laughs> like, oh, during the Civil War or right before the Civil War, because it was supposed to become a cotton producer to replace the cotton that would not be coming from the Southern states during the Civil War. Anyway, did cotton do well here? No, no it did not. But that did not stop the town from growing. Anyway, this little downtown area, which if you come to Southern Utah, it's I think called Town Square Park, is like right in the historic district of where a lot of the original like pioneer homes are, and historic buildings so like right behind me is the saint george tabernacle anyway there's historic buildings that are actually historic but then they've just built other buildings to look historic to match them kind of like the new library meanwhile they turned this into like a really cool park for kids it's like a river kids can play in during the summer it gets crazy there's like a billion kids here playing in the water screaming in the summer and then over there they do like movie night in the park sometimes. Oh, you know what my favorite part of this park now is though? It is the carousel. So this actually does run, it's relatively cheap to ride. I think it's only a dollar or something, but it's so pretty and I love it so much. I mean, I know it was probably built for little kids, but I love it more. <laughs> something else really cool my town does is they always have art everywhere they do change it out on a semi-regular basis a piece will stay in a certain location for a few years i've noticed and something else will come in so right now in the middle of the park we have this guitar that is interesting let me know what you guys think of this guitar in the comments down below So this is a bunch of older pioneer era homes that I always thought was really cool as a kid, but it was, I think, partially cool because it was kind of forbidden because it was technically like a little B&B &B and the owners were not very nice about letting people on the property unless you were staying there. And well, anyway, it looks like it's now a bunch of different little shops, which is super cute and you can actually walk around it. So. Let's walk around it. Let's live my childhood dream of actually exploring this place. area they have been building so many new apartment buildings for years 
we didn't have a lot of non-student housing apartment buildings in town or especially like high-end apartments that was not my city's forte anyway they have started to build more of them which i just think makes everything look very very fancy down here i have to say okay guys it is time to go to old main street which as it sounds is just the original main street however it's still very very cute and vintage-ish that we have a shop called Awakened Soul that's labeled a vibin' shop. Are you guys vibing it? So this older pioneer guy is actually one of my friend's great, 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 however many great grandpas. So I always think of him as her grandpa. There's a really cool part of downtown called Ancestor Square that is that way that I would love to show you guys, but I don't think I can show you today because I'm supposed to meet my sister in this little area. And so I just am waiting for word from her that like she's on her way with the rest of her class. And then I can model guys. Cause you know, that was what I was really meant to do in my life model no i am so bad in front of the camera it's gonna <laughs> I think my sister and her classmates just showed up and I need to go like be a model. I gotta go do my modeling thing. Is it though? I'm just spying on my sister's class. What do I do? I'm officially here with my sister and a very, very expensive camera. <laughs> oh, it's so weird being in front of a camera. You mean, oh yeah, you are in front of it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> for a great many photos. 
Bailey's currently getting her architectural required shots, so yay. I'm climbing into a very old, a very old truck here. Okay. Have like little old dials. It's an old dial truck. Headed to the top of the parking garage. freezing out still in fact i feel like it got colder it's way colder now than it earlier was when i was taking pictures but i don't know what this weather is because normally where i live it would be like shorts and a t-shirt hiking weather by now and no here i am wearing a coat it is insane anyway i'm just waiting for my sister to come pick me up we are going to go to urban renewal which is a consignment shop it's very, very fancy, I have to say. It is a fancy consignment shop. I try to consign some stuff there after my giant closet clean out that I did a video or so back. And I don't know, like they, they'll like text you and be like, we accepted some of your stuff, but not all of your stuff. They definitely did not accept all of my stuff, which I didn't really expect. I expected them not to accept any of my stuff because I'm like, let's face it got most of it at thrift stores. I think it's cute. Will anyone else think it's cute? That's pretty questionable. Anyway, I'm just gonna freeze and wait for my sister. 